The definition of farming is changing across Africa. From urban farming to farming with our soil, it's clear that the word convention has been thrown out the window. The growth of urban farming shows how many are looking at agriculture in a modern and eco-friendly way. But what goes into a project like this? Herbalist Lina Mwekezi invited us to her rooftop farm. I'm a herbalist um, who also studied Ayurvedic medicine. Um, I'm a rooftop farmer at the moment using culinary herbs that have medicinal properties to actually help people living with non-communicable diseases have access to leafy greens as well as herbs that can help in the management of their blood sugar level. Urban farming requires a lot of research and is important to understand your environment. You need to know what type of greens grow best in the urban farm that you want to set up. So we've tried a couple of herbs, of which some did not make it. <laughs> and then we had those herbs that responded very well, which can be used for the skin, but also be used to cook with. There are plenty of opportunities. Urban farmers are selling to markets, restaurants, manufacturers, and shops. The market is big in a way that we are now looking for other farmers to partner with, especially when you're selling to someone who has a chain of restaurants. You need to be consistent with your supply and you also need to be able to deliver to them on a weekly basis. So in terms of people who own restaurants, the market is quite big. Like any other business, there are costs involved. Mwekezi was lucky enough to receive funding from various organizations who offer assistance to those who want to pursue urban farming. To set up this, you're not looking anything less than 50,000 rand. Uh, because the total farm produces over 3,400 lettuces at a time. But then we also use the space outside where we um, produce other things like the spinach. Um, we also have other micro greens that we produce on the floor and not on the system. But the farm, we use every space available on the farm. But the setting up of the hydroponic system, you're not looking anything less than 50,000 rand. We were very fortunate. Um, we received funding through Whipsy, um, who has partners such as Cedar, such as SAB Breweries, and local economic government for Gauteng, um, who is working with them to ensure that we are able to set up the farms as well as create employment. She's promoting farming aimed at solving problems and serving the needs of those around you. I think firstly you need to have the passion for farming. <laughs> Yeah. because farming is not for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have the passion for it um, and also look beyond just farming. Why are you farming? Uh, we are farming to ensure that people are able to access uh, freshly grown leafy greens with medicinal properties. That's our reason for farming. Other people farm for various reasons, but because we are looking at food systems that have benefits for a healthy lifestyle, that is why we are farming. Do your research in terms of what's in the gap, what's the gap in the farming space. We saw the gap being the herbs that we are growing, uh, which are not just for eating, but can be used um, to make ointments, can be used to make facial creams. So do your gap and then find out who has space for your urban farm. Then do the research in terms of who's going to fund you uh, because that is very important. Once you have all of that in place, it's easy for you to go out and approach the people and say, I've seen this building, this is who my target market is, this is what I'll be growing, and this is the need 
that I'm actually um, addressing. This is Hashtag Africa. Now, urban farming, also known as vertical farming, is a growing trend in Africa and actually takes up 95% less of water than the conventional farming. The Urban Agriculture Initiative organization prides itself in assisting young people, people living with disabilities, as well as people from previously disadvantaged backgrounds. Now, over and above that, they also assist young people to start their own urban farms in the heart of Johannesburg. Amid South Africa's high unemployment rate, government is hoping to implement the green economy. This is aimed at creating employment opportunities beneficial to the environment. The Urban Agriculture Initiative provides support for those who wish to start urban farms in Joburg CBD. And it's a program that's growing across the country. The UAI provide entrepreneurial opportunities for young people within the inner city, the Johannesburg inner city. We have, however, rolled beyond the Johannesburg inner city. We are also ro rolling out to Bumalanga as well. So um, it's still pretty small. Um, we were the first program to do urban agriculture in South Africa. Um, there is. After that, there is a few other people that have joined into the urban agriculture. People are quite excited about it. In Africa as a whole, it's also still small, but um, Kenya and Nairobi is coming along pretty well. Urban farming comes with its own set of challenges. So the main challenge is market access for, for our farmers. Um, people also don't understand hydroponics because our produce are not grown in soil, they are grown in water. So um, people still don't understand the concept, they don't understand that they can actually do it themselves. But uh, beyond that, we also have problem with space because we mainly use rooftops and there is just not enough rooftops to provide the scale that we can compete with commercial farmers that are um, growing on the ground. The UAI is partnering with property owners to create opportunities and provide space for urban farmers. We, uh, we have a cohort of partners um, ranging from people that are providing financial support to people that are providing other business support such as providing the rooftops of property owners that some of them um, contribute their rooftop for free for the farmers while some are renting it out. Um, in terms of the entrepreneurs within the program, we're looking at youth, people with disability, um, people from previously uh, disadvantaged background, as well as female in general. The initiative also creates a way for urban farmers to sell to local markets. How the program is designed is that we produce our food within a five kilometer radius from where it's being consumed. We are targeting um, boutique restaurants as well as hotels so people can trace back where their food is produced as well as to also reduce the carbon emissions through transport. The message is that going green isn't only about protecting the planet. It's also a way to help make a dent in the skyrocketing number of jobless people in the country. Many African nations struggle with recycling and poor waste collection lies at the heart of the problem. We give you all those details and more when we return.